excited are you guys to take a show that was huge in the 80s and have the opportunity to be able to bring this back? Oh. So excited? Yeah. Is that, is that your answer too? Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, it's like there's excitement, there's trepidation, there's, you know, a little bit of angst, like are we going to get it right? But I'm pretty confident that we've done Me a too. good job at like ticking all the boxes that we need to to pay yeah. homage to the original, but also modernizing it for a modern audience. I so. feel good about this one. Um, I just feel like this is going to be a good show. I'm, I, Don't this, jinx it, this, though. I'm Rick not <laughs> mildly no. confident, but not over. No, I feel good about this one. So the question is, how are you going to keep the diehard fans happy, though? I mean, are they still going to be content with everything that's going to come out in the, the show? The clothes, the cars, yeah. those things haven't changed. Um, they're just going to get. Ha they're going to have to get over the fact that Crystal is brown and Sammy Joe is yeah, gay. Yeah, it's, it's gay. The, it's, you just have to get with it. Things mm -hmm. have changed. Well, I mean, I, you, have, you have to make things more relevant as well, too. Yeah. I mean, it is, it, it's not the 80s anymore. I think the characters are who the characters were. They're just played by different people, so there's going to be different... There's going to be slightly different color to each one of them, and I'm, no pun intended. And <laughs> But they're still the same. Blake is still Blake. Right. He's still ruthless. He still cares deeply about his family. He's still... Um, a very flawed protagonist. Um, he still has heart. He still has some good sides to him. Uh, he's still the same guy. It's just I'm playing him now instead of John Forsythe. And I think, you know, keeping original fans is very important to us, but the fact that the show stands alone and can appeal to yeah. new fans who mm -hmm. have no um, knowledge of the original or don't understand the context, I think that's equally important. I think and that's, that's the exciting. only way we can get the old fans interested. We can't re recreate what they saw. It's not going to happen. All we can do is pay homage to the old one and, and show them our version and let it stand or fail on its own. And whether they like it or not, we can't really control that. That's, you know, I can't control somebody's, somebody's desires and wants and likes and dislikes. True. So. Were you guys fans of the original show? I'd never seen it. Never seen it? I, I no. was too young to well, watch it. Well, I mean, I was too young. To, I was too young, too. But, I mean, I remember Everybody my aunts, grandparents. Everybody knows the yeah. reference, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I, it's an iconic absolutely. part of pop culture. I could not have missed it, so. But I was surprised when I went and actually watched the original how good of a story it yeah. was and what good, what a good television show yeah. it was, aside from all the crazy cat fights. It was really grounded in, like, good storytelling and good, like, really developed characters. There was a couple of scenes in the pilot that one that with between um, uh, Blake and Stephen when he confronts him when Blake confronts Stephen about his homosexuality it was just it's a terrific scene and then there's a scene where um, Blake and Crystal are in the airplane and he's like tells her you know be with me or not be with me but it's got to be nothing to do with the money and Oh, yeah, and that's it was scene. another terrific scene. It you was remember great. It. <laughs> no, I remember it. Is that the one where she's in her bikini no, on the private that, plane? Because I was, was like, she in a bikini why on the plane? is she still in her bikini on the private plane? That's amazing. Well, why wouldn't she be? Do <laughs> you think that there might be any cameos coming up? From that anybody? would be exciting. Yeah. We're the last to know. Yeah, we are. The last to know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously they're going to try to... I think my father's showing up in a few episodes, and I'd love it if they brought somebody from the original to play him again. So, favorite moment so far, onset, offset, just through this this whole experience. I mean, what has been your favorite moment that you've got to experience? I've had quite a few. Um, honestly, my audition with Natalie was really terrific. The, the well, that, that's the highlight of your whole experience. <laughs> no, no, but that was a great <laughs> Thank time. You. It was nice. It was really sweet and wonderful. Um, and when I got the job, I knew it was going to be great working with Natalie because of that that um, chemistry read I had. Um, I've had a few scenes though that, like my scene with. With Elizabeth was really terrific. I've got a three-year-old daughter, and I've never played a scene with a daughter before. That was the first, like, real kind of, and it was really kind of powerful for me. I have to say, I genuinely teared up when I married him on TV. I never imagined that, like, I never got caught up in the romances, the romance of a wedding, but I did on the day, even though these were total strangers clapping for me as I walked down the aisle. I had a real tear when I it got really to him. Beautiful. It was real sweet. She had this great, you did this great wave thing that was like, when you came down. It was, it, I mean, it was such a magical, like, movie moment. They mm -hmm. had, like, hundreds of rose petals laid across the grass. Like, it was a real, like, for all the girls that are, like, romantics at heart, that, that scene is just going to, like, live on in their memories. Oh, yeah. After getting the opportunity to watch the pilot, I'm pretty excited about watching the rest of the season. So it was, it was really good. Cool. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed Glad it. Glad to hear that.